I'm delighted to, uh, to welcome you and the delegation to Seoul. I'm coming directly from uh, Belgium. It's a long flight. I hope you had a pleasant uh, journey on board. And I'm pleased to see that the uh, Republic of Korea uh, and NATO have been steadily enhancing our partnership to address global challenges. Uh, ever since Korea became NATO's global partner in 2006, uh, in particular, we remain uh, thankful to NATO and the NATO member of countries uh, which came to assist us during the difficult time during the Korean War. Uh, and that NATO continues to support our efforts in addressing North Korea's continued nuclear and missile provocations. And given today's unprecedented global challenges, uh, we believe that solidarity among countries that share values of freedom, democracy, and rule of law is more important than ever. Um, President uh, Yoon Song Yeol, and as you know, participated in the NATO summit last year in uh, Madrid, Spain, uh, for the first time as a Korean president. And uh, we are grateful for your kind invitation to the NATO summit. And he expressed his strong commitment to further strengthen our partnership based on our shared values. To this end, as a follow-up to the NATO summit, we immediately set up our mission to NATO. Ambassador Yun Sun Gu is now wearing several hats <laughs> in Belgium. And now we have strengthened our institutional foundation for further advancing our partnership. And we look forward to working uh, more closely with uh, NATO to address today's uh, emerging security threats. So once again, uh, welcome to Korea. Uh, and uh, we thank you for your strong support for Korean uh, peace and stability in the Korean Peninsula. Mr. Park, it's a great honor to be back in Seoul and great to meet you again. And uh, our uh, visit today, me and my delegation, is a strong expression of uh, the great importance uh, we attach to the partnership between uh, the Republic of Korea and uh, NATO. And as you mentioned, it was an historic um, uh, moment when uh, the President of uh, uh, the Republic of Korea uh, met all the other NATO leaders at the NATO summit in, uh, in Madrid uh, in July last year. And my intention is to have the same kind of meeting uh, at the Vilnius summit in, in, um, in Lithuania uh, this year. Uh, and also, uh, uh, I would very much uh, hope that you can come to our foreign minister meeting uh, in NATO uh, in um, later this spring, uh, because all of that will strengthen our bond and our partnership. And also the fact that we now have opened a, a, a mission, a dedicated mission to uh, NATO in Brussels is also uh, a demonstrates the increased importance uh, of our partnership. And I think that uh, in a more unpredictable and uncertain world, it's even more important that uh, countries that believe in freedom and democracy in rules-based international orders stand together. Um, and uh, we also know that our security is more and more interconnected. Um, we are, of course, concerned about the reckless missile tests, tests and the uh, uh, nuclear programs of uh, uh, North Korea. Uh, and the war in Ukraine has also ramifications for uh, your region. Uh, and we also know that North Korea is providing uh, uh, military support uh, to the Russian uh, war uh, efforts uh, with uh, rockets and, uh, and missiles, and this just highlights how we are uh, interconnected. Mm -hmm. uh, we strongly believe that we can do more together um, uh, in areas like cyber, uh, like uh, technology, um, and, uh, and also when it comes to arms control and non-proliferation. So there are many areas where we really believe that um, uh, even stronger partnership between um, the Republic of Korea and NATO can be of mutual benefit. So once again, thank you for receiving me and my delegation here. Uh, we look forward to the, to the meetings and, uh, and to continue to expand our partnership.
So thank you for your kind words, and uh, we look forward to working closely with NATO and the NATO member countries. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah.